Hey there guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Double Cube and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to make a tutorial in Photoshop and that's the reason I'm making this tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be learning to create a wallpaper. It's gonna be a neon themed wallpaper, which is gonna work very well on phones which have AMOLED displays. So AMOLED displays are, you know, or I think if I'm not wrong, they actually brighten up the pixel that, you know, make it, you know, really glow on the phone. So those are called AMOLED displays. I'm sure every phone, you know, that's coming out has AMOLED displays. All right, so anyways, uh, that's not what this tutorial is about. So here I am in Photoshop and I just created a blank document with uh, the dimensions of 1080 by 1920. So the height is gonna be in 1080 and the width is gonna be 1980. So it's 1980 by 1080, it's just the reverse of that. So what I've done now is I actually have a black background and I have these lines that I've just created. You know, these are gonna be the background. Now, how did I get these lines? It's pretty simple. So I just created a single rectangle using the shape tool and then just rotated and duplicated it. And uh, we ended up with something, you know, like this. So let me just hide this line. Yeah, no, so, this is, so this is what we have right now. All right, so now once we have this, uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab in our text tool and just type in the letter V. And uh, let me just actually bring this on top. Uh, so the so the font I'm using is called as, uh, let me just show you guys again, it's called Tabara Black. Uh, it's a really good font, uh, you know, very bold and you know, has the nice cuts and stuff. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna center it vertically and horizontally. So we have something that looks like this. I'm actually gonna go ahead and place it, you know, in such a way that it, you know, suits my requirement. So let me just scale this down a little bit more. And uh, yeah, th th this should pretty much do. Okay, there we go. And uh, once we have that, I'm gonna go bring this on top back again. And I'm gonna right click and choose a uh, rasterize type. Yeah, rasterize type, there we go. Now once we have the rasterize type, we're gonna make a little bit of changes to this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a copy of the letter V. And uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hold, click, control, click. Let's actually not do that. Let's grab the pen tool and uh, let's create our own line. So I'm gonna split this V into two pieces. So I'm just eyeballing the look, the you know position over here. And I'm gonna come over here, close this up, control, enter to make a selection. And then I'm gonna hit delete. So let me just actually fill this with another color. So let's probably say white. Let's actually fill this. Control click, fill it white. Yeah, there we go. So we have now two sets of, you know, different pieces. Let me just hide this. Yeah, so there we go. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this, uh, this the first one, which is the top, the V, and I'm gonna hold down Control and make a selection over it by clicking on the thumbnail. And then I'll come here to the blue V, I'm gonna hit delete. So now we just have two separate pieces, uh, you know, that we can work with. And we can just go ahead and clean this uh, part up, which we don't want, just, you know, use the eraser tool and just get rid of that. Okay, that's, the, that's better. A little bit more over here, and uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, so now we have two separate pieces. All right, so now is the front part. So let's come here and click on these lines. And let's make a selection by holding on control. And it's gonna create a selection of the entire thing. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Control Shift I, which is gonna inverse the selection for me. And I'm gonna come here on the V and I'm just gonna hit Delete. So now what it's gonna do is if I Control Deselect, that's gonna, you know, give me this, this cutout selection for me. Uh, if I hide the lines, this is what I'm gonna get. Now, uh, I wanna do the same thing on this V, so let's do the same thing. So, but this time what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead, select this by pressing Control T, right click and choose Flip Horizontal. All right, so now Flip Horizontal, I'm gonna make a selection over this, come on here onto this blue V, Control Shift I to make a selection and hit Delete. All right, so now we're gonna have something that looks like this. But obviously we're gonna, you know, we're gonna you know, have to change the placement a bit. So uh, we're gonna control Z that. And uh, you know, just control D to deselect and just move these lines a little bit uh, you know, to the left and the right. So, like a little bit, you know, until you think looks good. Yeah, that's look, that looks good. And uh, let's select all that and uh, control shift I to inverse and whoops, we need to select the blue layer and hit delete. We're gonna have something that looks like this, which is pretty cool. Now let's just reverse this, so right click, uh, Control-T, right click and choose flip horizontal. 
and uh, we are back to this let's just move this up so you know it sits exactly where we wanted it to yeah that's looking good and now let's you know it's time to make this look more cool so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to actually rasterize this so i'm going to right click and choose a rasterize layer and uh, i'm going to go ahead and change the color of this by double clicking, clicking on the blending options, and let's choose the uh, inner, the, I'm sorry, what? The color overlay, yeah. And uh, we can go ahead and change this to a, you know, like a dark blueish kind of a, with a green tint, cyan kind of a color, uh, like so. You know, we want it to be pretty damn dark, you know, like, like crazy dark. Yeah, like so. I think this looks good. We can reduce the opacity later if we want to, so that's not going to be a problem. I'm click on OK, and let's click on OK over here as well. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the blue V that we have. So I'm going to make a copy by pressing Control J. I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, and choose a Gaussian Blur. So we want to set the blur to say something like 10 pixels or even probably 5. We don't want it to be too bright. Uh, 5, I think, looks good. Uh, maybe like, like 8, 7. Yeah, I think I think we can go with six or seven. Yeah, six looks good. And then I'm gonna come back to the bottom V, the original one, make a copy of that. And I'm gonna go and set this to a white color. So let me just put it to a white color. There we go. I'm gonna put it on top. There we go. And then make a, uh, go to filter and choose a blur and choose a Gaussian blur. Uh, we can do the same thing. So let's probably set it down, down to five, I think this time, five or four. 5 or 4 and then we're gonna go ahead and set the blending mode of this to overlay and now we have this amazing awesome looking glow uh, which is really powerful so we can reduce down the opacity of this to say something like 70 and the same one for the copy uh, probably 70 as well which looks really good right now okay so then we're gonna come over here double click on this white and we can go ahead and add in a drop shadow so I'm gonna stick with 15 on the distance and 20 on the size and click on okay Let's do the same thing over here. So right click and choose copy layer style and we'll come here to the bottom the last one of the V right click and choose paste layer style. So now we get a great, uh, you know, like a uh, drop shadow on the bottom one as well. And this is looking really cool right now. So another thing we can do is let's create a new layer on top of everything. Let's actually not top everything just above the lines and press B to get our brush tool and uh, make sure your foreground color is wide. Just make it as big as the letter and just throw in a color and we can probably come over here and let's see if we can see which blending mode looks really good on this all right uh yeah i think uh, soft light looks really good soft light is making a cool difference so let's stick with soft light to be honest and we can yeah we can keep it like so so another thing we can do is add a vignette so let's add in a black layer below uh, above the uh, lines layer just a blank layer and let's get the shape tool uh, the ellipse tool and let's just create a, you know like a like a ellipse, I don't know, like so. And make sure it's set to black uh, this time. And then let's scale this up pretty high. So, you know, like, so it kind of covers the entire canvas, whoops. All right, now let's center this horizontally and vertically. There you go. And then now, now let's, you know, like uh, hold down control, make a selection, and then let's create a new layer on this. And I'm going to go ahead and just fill this entire thing with, you know, just a black. So there we go. This is also filled with black. So actually, we want to deselect, fill the entire thing with black. And now select this and come over the layer we just, the black layer we just created. And just hit delete. And now we have something that looks like this. And on this layer, we can go to filter, uh, blur, and choose a Gaussian blur. And now we can blur this up like pretty darn high. So probably around, maybe even set it to a thousand. Okay, probably, probably not thousand, probably let's say 500. Uh, let's try 300. Yeah, 300, let's click on okay. And we can actually reduce down the opacity of this. So let's bring that down to say something like 60%, probably 75%. And uh, that is pretty much it guys. Now we can come over here to this glow layer that we created and make a copy to, you know, if you guys wanna give a little bit more, you know, like a brightness and reduce down the opacity. Let's actually control T and let's make this like pretty big and we can reduce down the opacity of this to 70%. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to mention that in the comment section down below. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then take care and bye bye.